It's about 2.30. We just went probably about like a mile and a half that way. Got one of the cameras that weren't having too much activity, moved it over here to where I was getting a decent amount of buck activity at night anyways. Um, but at least we know we're there in the air, but I got a bunch of pictures of bucks last year. And then now we're actually slipped down at the creek and then we're gonna sneak back into a little bit thicker stuff that where I think most of the bigger deer are gonna be, I guess, bedded down just because I think we're hitting that October lull last night. Driving around, I seen a whole bunch of deer moving around, so I'm guessing they've just been up all night. So Austin and Bochin went this morning and they saw a bunch walking in in the dark, or a bunch driving in in the dark, a bunch walking in in the dark, and then they saw one like set like, as they were setting up still in the dark. So my hope is we have a pretty good chance of seeing something tonight, being that doe, buck, or whatever, but seeing something tonight because they're going to probably get up and start moving around and probably stay up all night like how they have been so i think we're getting into that october lull obviously everyone's different but that's just my thought in this so yeah we're gonna keep sneaking down this creek having our scent stay down here and then hopefully with this colder weather that we've been having in october we get a pretty good chance at something so let's go hopped up from the creek and then we jumped the doe like around the edge of the river and she ran this way and then while we were down there in the creek we saw I don't know what kind of plant this is but this there this was all down there and every single one of them were picked off like there was just a stem left it looked like that it looks like we might set up this tree here it looks pretty good to me or even that one right there we might walk down this way just a little bit more and shoot back this way. If not, I think this area right here won't be a bad spot. Let's see if we can get something. Probably about 100, 150 yards that way is where I shot my first book. So if you guys want to check that out, it'll be in the top right. Yeah. It's been two weeks since we've seen a deer. And uh, yeah, now it's 32 degrees. I came into the season with like one goal and that's just to get a buck in October. So this is basically the last day I'll be able to do it just since it's Sunday and then we got work and whatnot. So we're gonna be out here all day. We've been walking around all morning. We've seen some fresh sign 
super fresh sign. Like it might have, it might have been this morning, but I was feeling the after effects of alcohol this morning, so we got here kind of late. But yeah, right under us right here, we got fresh scrape, and then we also found a big buck. He might be a hundred yards that way. If that, he might be a little closer, but he, he looked. I don't know what he died from, but yeah. And then I brought the horns too, so we're gonna see if we can get something coming that way. But basically, I sit for uh, November and then basically be sitting all day long.
We just got out of the woods and um, holy crap. We So we saw all those two and then right at the end of basically shooting light, we were about ready to get packed up and then Tayson uh, said, I think I see a deer. And I'm like, well, where is it at? He's like, right over there. I'm like, I, I can't tell if it was a deer or not. And the thing walks out. And we both go, oh my god. <laughs> Far the biggest body deer I've ever seen in my freaking life. But we didn't, couldn't get it on video or anything like that just because of how far it was. But he he went across that, that opening and then uh, went down into the river so and crossed it. So we, even though we didn't kill one, I said it was a pretty successful hunt from the last two weeks we've been having. Basically what happened the last two weeks is we been doing a lot of like the sitting and like observation sits and then we got like closer and we kind of like pinned it down to that area and then this morning we came out and we found a rub on the on the field edge and then we followed the, the rub in and then that was that's what led us to that area and then a little bit past that's what led us to that dead deer but the scrapes were so fresh that the, the dirt underneath was still wet. So we ended up just sitting there all day and then we didn't see anything until obviously this later this evening. But I think we, I think we ended the month good and we have a good start to November, like the area where we want to stick. It looks like not necessarily they're staying there, but there's, there's their moving through. And the nice thing is we also didn't see a single doe the entire time everything we've seen walk by were all bucks so that's top of that that's another good sign we'll see you guys when we're back in the woods